Good morning guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, I'm E34 Black Widow. And today we ended up getting a new uh, new vehicle for the uh, channel, uh, adventure off-road vehicle that I'm gonna turn it into. So enough talking, let's get right into it. You guys are all having a great day uh, as you can read from the uh, title yes I did buy the cheapest Nissan Pathfinder that I could possibly find so here it is it's a 2001 Nissan Pathfinder three and a half liter v6 automatic four-wheel drive obviously so I bought this I've been looking for a Pathfinder for about I don't know a couple months now ever since I started doing the off-roading because I was tired of uh, basically uh, taking my truck off-roading, etc. So I found one of these. I've been looking for one in the price range of, you know, five, 600 bucks. All of the Nissan Pathfinders in my area go for about a thousand plus, and then anything under a thousand, they all have, you know, probably, well, they all have engine or transmission problems, most of them. This one was got uh, posted on there. I think you wanted 1,050 for it. So I offered 500 bucks. He said he'd take it so i went down and I, I drove about two hours from my house picked it up drove it home and i've been doing you know some stuff behind the scenes i've been fixing it up all the problems that i'll talk about here in a second um so basically when i got the car uh everything works good on it only thing was it was howling driving down the highway so i changed left front left front wheel bearing I took the knuckle off I also greased the needle bearing for the axle I did the left side I also did the right side wheel bearing as well it needed a uh, lower ball joint on the control arm I did that uh, you can probably see it but it's new I also took that side knuckle off and I greased the needle uh, needle bearing on that side for the axle um, a lot of people don't do that they just do the wheel bearing they don't bother to take the whole knuckle off to check on the bearing at the back but i did and the bearings were good the driver's side bearing wasn't too too bad it was probably you know it was going to go soon but the passenger side was really bad um so come in here it's got you know we got our power windows power locks um Let's get in here nothing fancy it's just you know it's all cloth interior don't need anything fancy at all but 500 bucks come on you can't go wrong with this thing so we got power mirrors cruise control four-wheel drive all works which was very important automatic uh i would have loved to have a manual but you know automatic's just as great um works good the ac does work heat works starter up here one thing i will have to do is i will have to get a new key cut because this one has a hard time turning the ignition over you have to hit it in the right spot starts every time runs smooth no hesitation our four-wheel drive system does work comes on right there oh yes another thing i bought the uh, i bought the pathfinder and only this this tweeter and that tweeter were working for the stereo I did a lot of research online and everybody was saying it's the amp for the Bose system but as you can tell obviously base model doesn't have the Bose system so 
So I wasn't sure if it had an amp or what. People online are saying that this the cheap version, this version also has an amp in the back. So I, I, I you know, I took apart the back. I couldn't find any amp. I ended up just taking the, uh, ended up taking the door panel off here and uh, took the speaker out. The They're just factory speakers. I took the factory speaker out. I grabbed a speaker from the 540i that we uh, stripped down. I plugged it in and it worked really good so basically i went out and i bought the cheapest six inch six inch speakers i could find or walmart china brand 40 bucks for two which is honestly the cheapest i could find uh, basically yeah i put one in the driver's side passenger side because they came in a box of two it was like like i said 40 bucks for two so i went to a different walmart got the ones for the back installed those now all my speakers are working sound pretty good they sound decent. They sound better than two front tweeters that were working. Oh shit. They sound better than the two front tweeters that were working. I'd give you guys, you know, I'd, I'd turn it on, but I don't want to get, you know, copyrighted. Bullshit. So basically I did that. I did. I put in the speak. Oh, so, so I put in the four speakers. I did the wheel bearings. I just painted the rims black just because I think the black looked better. Uh, I also went to the junkyard. I got fender flares you know it matches pretty close pretty much the same color i got fender flares just because the uh common in these things these are this is all rotten underneath so i put the fender flare on just to make it look a bit better coming around to this side i also put a fender flare fender flare on the front going to the back you know it's super clean the, the car is just super clean there's no rips there's no like broken interior pieces all, all the electric windows and locks, they all work. All of the doors open and close from the inside because a lot of times, sometimes the door won't open from the inside. Coming to the back. I just started filling the Pathfinder up with, you know, my camping supplies, like my chairs. You know, I got my cooler. Should be water jug in here somewhere. Water jug. So basically this is, I'm gonna turn this Pathfinder, I'm trying to turn it into a, an off-road camping vehicle where I, you know, I'm not afraid to take it up you know a really shitty logging road because i won't worry about it and you know it's not expensive to repair <sighs> ended up installing i ended up uh putting in the rooftop tent you know it just got the factory rails cut these aluminum square tubing here just put it right across i bent the bracket so the tent's not going anywhere um I will be doing a separate video on Smitty Belt Overlander XL rooftop tent on a Pathfinder. I know I did one with it on my truck on the stand and that video is quite popular. But yeah, let's see. Check out the engine here. Fucking big fist size dent there, but for 500 bucks you can't go wrong. So the engine's not bad. It's got a brand new battery. Uh, it's the 3.5 liter v V6. It's got the timing chain, not the timing belt, so I don't have to worry about that. Oil is clean, um, oil filter is new, air filter is new, uh, this, all the, there's no leaks, so it doesn't leak any fluids, drives good, I, after I did the wheel bearings, I ended up just taking it up the street and it does not howl anymore, so I believe that was my problem, um, yeah, it's definitely not the nicest Pathfinder, but for 500 bucks, come on, 500 bucks, you cannot go wrong with this type of vehicle very excited to get this on the channel more start using it right now i'm currently waiting for my truck to get back from the body shop as you guys saw in the last video i dropped it off because somebody had vandalized my tailgate um, i'm waiting for that to come back after it's fixed then i'm going to put the truck away for storage so i can drive my pathfinder here so there it is the cheapest pathfinder i could possibly find so I have a lot more content coming for you guys. I got, you know, I, I'm gonna I plan on taking this thing everywhere I possibly can through mud pits and whatnot and lots of mountain camping. Basically just very, I'm, I'm pretty much just really excited to actually use this. Um, I personally really like these vehicles. I heard they're great off-roading. Never owned one. I will like, soon, like, I guess I'll soon find out. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention to you guys is the frame. I know the, the quarters here a rust are rotted a little bit on the rocker but the frame is actually in really great shape on the shock mounts etc underneath they're not uh it's got surface rust but it's definitely not rusted or close to being you know gone or cracked etc the frame is actually in really great shape 
kind of kind of see it in there not really but the frame's in actually good shape up front also in good shape i don't know it's hard to hard, hard to see with the tires on but that'll do it for this upload guys if you're new to the channel and you like the video please subscribe please give it a thumbs up have a great day i'll see you in the next video Bye.